Right, it's Thursday. I'm here with manager Mark White for our weekly catch up. How you doing, Mark? Okay, mate. Cheers. Good stuff. Good. Right, obviously, we didn't have a uh, competitive fixture last weekend. Gateshead uh, sadly was called off because of the weather, but hopefully, it's starting to warm up now. And fingers crossed, the uh, postpone- postponements have passed us. But um, you did have a, a friendly at home on Tuesday night when you welcomed uh, Chichester to Meadowbank and a chance for the, for the boys to have a bit of a run out. How did that go? Yeah, obviously, we. Um... It was good for those. We, five boys play for the B team, um, which Ruben does a great job of running. That's getting ever better um, on Saturday. And those boys and boys um, that needed minutes played, maybe six or seven didn't play. Um, as expected, a really good run out for the lads. Um, and. Um, appreciate Miles, Alfie's dad, um, for those that didn't know, that's the manager of Chichester, uh, bringing up, uh, bringing, bringing them up, and they, they, they've done a great job. And yeah, as all training matches are, it was, um, you know, lots of work rate and better than a training session. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, we're, we're, we're pleased with the run out, and um, it's got some extra minutes into, into legs. We don't have the luxury of doing practice matches during the week. Um, so that was our opportunity. Okay, now I know you've got a session with the boys tonight down at Meadowbank, but um, h- how is the squad looking point in time ahead of this Saturday's game? Well, it's still it's still fractured, do you know what I mean? And, and I know that Niels is not the best either, sort of how. Um, obviously, it's been a story of our season, and we are hoping that it, we're hoping that that ends, um, but you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're going to be in a position where we get anywhere near where we want to be this season with um, with the squad. It's it's just been start to finish, really. You know, we need to remember we only got promoted in June. We was unable to recruit. We lost um, two to three of our best players who weren't going to make the jump up um, logistically. We then lost. Um, We'd already lost Briggsy, our, our best player through an ACL. That's he's now back in training. We was hoping he featured the other night, but um, we ruled him out after the warm up. Really, um, we lost him. We lost Alfie to an ACL, our top striker. Barry Fuller for 12 weeks, broken toe. Josh Taylor, I think, by the time he returned, would have been out a similar time. And it's just been really difficult to manage uh, a squad of players that predominantly have come from. The Ispian League, a lot of them, uh, they've come through the ranks. So we've had our challenges this season, and I think no more so than now. Um, but um, you know, we are committed, um, as always, as in wondrous true spirit to uh, to finding a way to to have a good end to the season, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, there's a, a lot of football coming up. Yeah. Uh, starting this Saturday when we welcome Solly Holmalls to Meadowbank for a league fixture. Yeah, I thought, you know, the game was ruined up there and the ref um, made a ridiculous mistake. One of the, you know, standard, abysmal refs in this division. Uh, sent off Isaac after five minutes. It got overturned probably in about one minute um, when it went to the FA. Uh, obviously ruined the game. But, I mean... Make no mistake, Solihull Moors are more out of luck than out of form. I mean, I watched them play against Aldershot and how they didn't win that game, I'll never know. I think that the way they play football um, is, you know, is probably the best football in the league, I'd say. Um, the way they play, um, I was really impressed with it. And uh, Neil's got them doing the right things and nearly be waiting for their luck to turn. That's where they are, mate. They're a good side, a good set outfit, full time. Um, they have slipped right down the league. That'll be in their heads, no doubt. There's not that many points between us and them, to be fair. Um, and we're at home, but we should be really clear. This is a, a really good team, and uh, this is the team that got to the playoff final last year. Um, and um, you know they're looking to to turn it around. First visit, another new club to the town. We hope to welcome uh, their supporters, and, and we look to enjoy the day against a friendly club. Yeah, it'd be nice to be back at home. Yeah. For sure. Um, now, obviously, you know, by our standards, it's been quite quiet on the field 
last couple of weeks, but what, you know, anything to report off the field? Any updates that you want to share today? Um, no, not massive. I think obviously we're um, we're in the process of um, buying the stadium. Um, that that's been deferred. It needs to be heard by scrutiny. That that's been deferred again, which we support. We're not having a moon with, but we support it because we want the members to be um, comfortable with their decision making around that. But we're really excited in the background. We're we're um, working on head to term with the council and finalising things. And um, obviously, as a club, it's a uh, massive opening for us so we've got i mean even today we've, we've got a a committee meeting and um around all of the opportunities that that brings so uh we we've got all that going on we've got the all important uh project uh we, we call it cate where we need to build a stand uh toilets tv gantry that's well underway that's got to be done by march 31st so yeah we're doing that as well and yeah it's that time of the year where we're obviously critiquing what the model will be for the club next season. We want to make sure we're really organised um, and we're talking to one or two players um, as part of all of this. Okay. That's the update. Good That's all I've got. No, appreciate that, Mark. Thank you. All right, well, look, cheers for your time, as ever. Cheers, mate. Good luck Saturday. Thanks. And uh, we'll catch up again next week. Cheers, mate. Cheers.